Now, one thing we need, since this is a blower table, we need a blower to go right on it. Uh, the blower is a mechanical device uh, that blows air right uh, through a pipe. Very, very, it actually, it looks very similar to the superchargers or blowers that you put on the big V8 engines and the dragsters. But uh, it's the same kind of idea. It has to blow air through um, uh, into a cavity. Now, uh, I was able to get uh, an AutoCAD file of the blower, uh, but I, the, a, a 3D uh, SolidWorks file was not available, so I had to go about making one from the uh, AutoCAD drawing. So the way I went about that is I first took the uh, views uh, in AutoCAD and saved the top view, the right-hand view, the left-hand view, the bottom view, as separate views, as separate drawings in AutoCAD. That makes it a little easier to import it into SolidWorks. Now, when I open um, one of these views, uh, let's say I'll just import uh, AutoCAD drawing here, and uh, say the top view, what happens is uh, AutoCAD asks you if you want to convert it into SolidWorks uh, entities for drawing. But I don't want to do that. I want to go ahead and import it as a new part, at least temporarily. I only actually want the sketch. So here's the uh, AutoCAD drawing I was provided with. And uh, sa just save the top view here. And I'm bringing in all the layers. Uh, and I'm just going to click Next and uh, bring everything in. Uh, I'm importing this into a drawing. And you've basically got all the line work coming from the uh, AutoCAD drawing, which you could use to create extrusions. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save this as a block. And the next thing I'm going to do, the reason I'm going to save it as a block is so that I can position the center point here right on the origin. And that will make it easier for me to model things with respect to the planes of symmetry. Uh, I find when you when you import an AutoCAD drawing and you try to use a geometry, these might not be closed circles, for example. They might not be closed loops. So you'll be spending a lot of time uh, making the sketch uh, uh, to uh, become a, a nice closed circle. So if I turn the whole thing into a block, I can simply sketch over top of it with uh, a circle and extrude that and not worry so much about the actual geometry of the sketch and trying to make it fit properly. The, the, all I'm really doing is using the block as a guide to make sure I get my uh, geometry in the right place. And the other thing is making sure that I pick a center point and aligning it with the, uh, the top left and uh, right hand planes so that I get everything uh, symmetrical when I'm, when I'm doing my modeling. So that's how I uh, went about uh, importing this thing. So that's, uh, that's how I took care of this. And I'll just close this out because I've already done it here in another uh, drawing. So here's the sketch I imported uh, into my model. And I also imported another view of it, you see here, on the, on the other plane. So now I've got the end view and the top view coincident with the center. And, and I've got my planes, my front plane, uh, my top plane is aligned, and my right plane. All the sketches are aligned with those planes, so it should make it easy. Uh, to extrude in different directions to get this uh, get this thing looking like a reasonable approximation of the blower. So, in t to do that, you'll see how I started here. I'm extruding the basic shape from the outline, the profile of the blower. So here, I just made a sketch coincident with this oval shape, the outside of the blower, and then just extruded it. I didn't need to take any dimensions. I just need, needed to make an oval shape that was coincident with this sketch that I imported. And then I just did another extrusion in the opposite direction, the same distance, and I've got myself the basic shape of the blower. And I've also got points on the top sketch here that I can uh, extrude to vertex. You see this vertex here is the overall length of the blower. Uh, and the next part here, that's the flange uh, that the uh, some of the mechanicals sit on, so that's a separate part. 
but I extruded the body of the blower up to that vertex. And just by running through this, you can see how you can pretty much create the entire blower uh, just by building your features on those uh, sketches. Cutting a hole through it. And here's where I added those, see this, these flanges on either side. Here's another one here starting to be built and uh, just extruding it out again to these vertexes on the sketch. So there's the vertex on the sketch that, that gives you the thickness of that flange. And it even shows you where the location of the bolts are uh, if you want to uh, put all the bolts in. But uh, I'm just going to be approximating this thing anyway. I, I, I basically just want the height and the overall dimensions uh, and the mounting. What I'm, what I'm really interested in is the mounting of this thing with the feet. So that's, that's what I'm working towards. So if I carry on here, uh, adding features, adding the shaft, uh, that's also important. I made sure the shaft is in there. In this particular uh, application, I found out that there, there are options for the shaft. So you have either a left hand or a right hand shaft, and mine has the right hand. So I had to transfer this uh, shaft from one side to the other to get it to look proper. So the, um, that's how the, uh, the, the blower is coming together. The, as we carry along here, now I start getting the feet in place, which are, uh, are quite important because I want to know where those holes are going to go in the blower table. Uh, so I start modeling these uh, these feet based on the sketch I have right here and I started with a, a thick piece of metal which is bent and you can see it's just copied as a profile from one of the sketches and basically you just cut through that piece of metal and start putting the slots in there that uh, that, uh, that provide the holes for the uh, mounting bolts. And that, once, once I get that lined up, then I know where to put my holes uh, in the table uh, to mount this thing. So all of that was done basically uh, just by taking the, the, the front view, the right hand view, and the uh, other views from, from an AutoCAD drawing and, and using them as a base uh, for extrusion.